right, guys. So today, uh, hopefully, um, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to drive a manual transmission car. Um, yeah, we're gonna find a little area where we can, uh, we're gonna kind of just show you guys um, how you can drive stick. So the uh, the whole idea behind driving a manual is obviously you got you got the three pedals, you got the clutch pedal, brake, and gas. Um, so basically, what you want to do is you want to just uh, to start off obviously push the clutch in all the way, have your foot on the brake, and then put your uh, put the gear stick into first gear, which is up and to the left, and they all have diagrams on the uh, on the shifters to tell you um, what you need. And what helped me um, first is just get a feel for where the clutch is engaging. Now when people say clutch engaging, what they mean by is where the clutch actually grabs and when the car will start to move forward at that point. So I'm going to take my foot off the brake and then slowly let the clutch out. You can kind of feel the car is slowly moving. So I mean you can, on certain cars you can start, start going without even giving it any gas. Uh, if it's a low torquey engine like this, depending on gear ratios, all that. So we'll come to the stop. To come to a stop, you just push the clutch in all the way, put your foot on the brake, and then basically, so now, now do that a couple times where you, you, you let the clutch out and you kind of feel the car going and just do this really slow um, just to kind of get a feel for it. And then once you get a feel for it, then you can start adding a little bit of gas. So I'm gonna, clutch is coming out, I'm just gonna give it just a hair, just a little bit of gas. And there you go. So pretty simple, not a whole, not too difficult, but that helped me is just by, uh, just by starting off by just getting a feel for where the clutch is, letting the clutch out a little bit. And if you, so basically it's, it's pretty simple that way. Um, so to get started, like I said, we'll do it again. Start giving a little bit of gas as the car's rolling forward. And there you go. So again, we're gonna to come to a stop here. So we're gonna clutch in, put the gear stick in neutral, and then put your foot on the brake. And then to start out, we're just gonna have the clutch still in neutral, or sorry, the clutch in, the stick in neutral. Go to first, let your foot off the brake, slowly let the clutch out, give it some gas. And there you go. So it's pretty simple. That's gonna take some time to get smooth. Um, what happens is if you let the clutch out too quickly, the engine's gonna die like that. You kind of feel how the, it just is like, nope, it just wants to die. So basically when you, when you kind of feel it or hear the sound of the engine kind of dying, all you gotta do is just give it a little gas, not a whole lot, just give it enough. And if you feel like you're gonna stall and the car kind of starts to shake, just, just slam the clutch in real quick and you won't stall. You can actually save, save the car from stalling even if you almost think it's gonna stall. You can still save it. So just try to remain calm the whole time while you're doing this. Obviously probably try to find an open parking lot, things like that. Um, and just have the confidence. Don't be afraid of you're not driving, gonna stop there. Uh, driving stick. You gotta have no, the confidence what are you waiting that for? You know, you're gonna learn this and you're gonna do, do it. it. Um, so that helped me anyway, is just not just being timid, not being afraid that, ooh, I'm gonna mess them up. Um, yes, just you be can. confident. Um, just do and, it. You know, just keep practicing and you know eventually um eventually it becomes second nature and you don't even really think about it so stop i guess the next part up. that we'll do here is i'll show you how to shift from one gear to the next uh so we're just going to start off and then now we got the just the gas on now we're going to go for the clutch push the clutch in grab the gear lever go into second let the clutch out and you don't necessarily even have to give it a ton of gas yeah i'll do that again and I won't give it any gas. I'll just go from, from first to second real quick. So we'll go to first, into second. You know, you don't really need to give it gas. It helps to give gas, you know, to get it smoother. Um, so we'll do this again. So I'll start out in first. There we go. Then we'll go, go into second, clutch in, give it a little bit of gas, clutch out. Um, it takes a little bit of time to get that smooth, but the idea the idea is just to be smooth with everything. Nothing's a quick motion, at least starting out. Uh, nothing's a quick motion. Everything, just be real smooth with it. Um, you know, don't be too quick or think you gotta do it real fast or you're gonna stall the car or anything like that. You can be real smooth, and this is gonna be different 
um, depending on what kind of car you're gonna drive. Um, like most other cars, you probably wouldn't be able to let the clutch out all the way without giving it gas. Um, but because this Jeep has got um, different set, of, it's uh, it's got 373 gears. I got really big tires on it. Um, it's the four liter straight six, so it's got a, it's got more torque at the low end. Um, so it all kind of depends uh, what kind of car it is, and that all the clutches are going to all engage at different points. So you know some cars um, are going to engage um, at the very at the very bottom. So by bottom, at least for me, how I'm going to explain this is at the very bottom is when the clutch is all the way in, and then it in starts engaging right like there. Versus some cars. They, uh, the clutch engages all the way at the top, and by top I mean all the way like right you know, there it'll start engaging. Um, so it just kind of depends on the clutch and it depends on the car. So, But yeah, I hope you guys found this video at least somewhat informative. Um, I know there's a ton of other videos out there on how to drive stick and all that kind of stuff, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video at least, and hopefully it helped you out. I suppose just more opinions and more advice on how to do something. I suppose someone can learn maybe something or maybe I came across well for someone. So um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next video.